Hey, what's up everybody? Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to this new series, Learn Vala and GTK Plus from Scratch. This series will be focused on building an elementary OS app using the GTK Plus Toolkit. The GTK Plus Toolkit is developed and used by GNOME, and it offers a pretty wide set of widgets to quickly build native GNU slash Linux applications. You probably already know that you can build GTK Plus apps in many different programming languages like Python, Rust, C, and so on. And you may wonder why I decided to use Vala as a code base for my applications and serious. Well, first of all, Vala is also developed by GNOME, which makes it targeting the GNOME stack really simple, with solid and easy bindings for all the GTK Plus classes. Vala is a modern, high-level abstraction language, which was perfect for me since I felt really comfortable using it thanks to my previous experience with PHP object-oriented programming. Vala is also the language recommended by the elementary OS developers, which thanks to them saw a boost in adoption, maintenance, and updates. Since elementary OS itself, and specifically the Pantheon desktop environment, with all its parts and native applications, it's built in Vala, it's pretty easy to find thousands of files on GitHub with code examples or solutions to common problems. Problems. The availability of resources and the active status of the community are the main reasons why I picked Vala as a programming language. Let's quickly set up our computer to easily develop native GTK Plus Linux application. Let's install the elementary OS SDK, which will install the basic development libraries and the dconf editor to visualize gsettings entries. Let's open the terminal and type sudo apt install elementary-sdk. That's it. The only other thing you need to have in order to follow this series is a code editor and a terminal app. I will be using code and terminal, the default applications available on a fresh install of elementary OS. You don't have to be running elementary OS in order to develop native GTK Plus applications. In fact, you can easily follow these tutorials on any GTK-based desktop environment, but I recommend trying Elementary OS on a small partition, especially the currently available beta version of Juno, since I will be using their extremely curated and polished style sheet and their Granite library widgets. A resource that you should always keep close is the official Vala documentation where you can find at the URL valadoc.org. I admit that for me, this wasn't the easiest documentation I've read. It's actually pretty complicated if you're not used to its bindings and structures. So I will be sure to reference during these tutorials to help you understand how to properly use it and read it if you're looking for help on a specific class or method. Hope you guys are excited as I am about this series and all the juicy knowledge we're gonna absorb in these videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to not miss any of the weekly videos I'm gonna publish. And if you like this series, consider hitting the like button to let me know. I'm gonna try to be as thorough and detailed as possible while teaching you Vala and GTK+. But of course, if you're interested in a specific topic, let me know by leaving a comment below and I'll be sure to make a video about it. Thank you all for watching and I talk to you in the next one.